Do you want to get some pizza? Fire some questions at them <laughs> while you have your pizza. Come on, this is your chance. What do you want to know? Mrs Benigno has arranged for some former students to come in to speak to some of her Year 11s struggling with confidence ahead of the upcoming GCSEs. How do you calm your nerves before, like... Are you nervous before you go into an exam? I'm nervous for everything. She cries mm. all the time. Even if you're not confident, pretend you are and then you come across like you are. My big thing now at the minute is the gym. Because I think when I walk into the gym, everyone's better than me, everyone knows what they're doing and I don't know what I'm doing. And the only thing I feel comfortable to do is go to the treadmill and just walk. Oh my God, that is actually... Awesome. <laughs> like the mats, you see everyone on your mats so you watch what they do to try and copy. We go in the machine behind and we're like, go on, watch what they do. But then when you go to do it, you're like, I'm doing it wrong, I feel dead stupid. Yeah. But no one's even looking at you when you realise. I know. Exactly, Mr. Like How do you get over that? How do you get you over it, you you you. I do that so bad with absolutely everything. I just think I can't do anything. And then... I don't have the motivation to even try them. You need to start believing in yourself. Like, look at things that you can do, and it'll make you because because you can do that, you can do other things as well. You can do whatever you want, whatever you put your mind to. Honestly, you can definitely do. Every one of us, we want to do really well, and we want to, you know, be at our best. But that there comes a lot of pressure with that. So it's no different when you're older, and it's like you say, you have to force yourself and pretend yeah, sometimes. Possible. I personally have had panic disorder when I was in my 20s, and at the time, I think I was very anxious. I'd been living in France for three years. I was due to come back home, but I had no money, I had no job, and I think I'd, it just all got too much, and I ended up getting, like having really bad panic attacks. I had to just learn to manage them, to sort of breathe and calm myself down, drop my shoulders, because I've, I've often got, like, tense shoulders when I'm stressed. I do. I get the bad pains there, because I'm always like that when I'm walking mm. and stuff. It is hard, and it, but it gets easier, doesn't it? The more you try something, like now, if I stand up in front of, say, like you say, all the staff, because I have to do that regularly at the beginning, I was really crapping myself. But then that, now I do it, everything gets easy, doesn't it? Yeah, Are you upset? <laughs> oh, cry. You're going to cry, are you? No, I'm going to cry now. Why are you upset, Daisy? Go on, tell Because I don't want to leave. Oh. <laughs> Miss Benigno, she really has helped me through this last year. She deals with any problems that you've got or, like, anything, she'll let you, she'll help you. If it were for Miss Benigno, I probably wouldn't have even applied for college now. <laughs> I think it's all been about relationships. You know, for me, that's the thing that comes first. It's that relationship that you have with the young people. It just shows them that you believe in them and that they're worth giving time to and therefore they should feel worthy themselves. If they know you care, if they know you'll go the extra mile, then they will pretty much do anything for you. <laughs> do you reckon they're going to improve these results? Yeah. 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 Definitely. Definitely. What do you all think? Are these results going to get better? Definitely. Yes. Yeah.